The current state of video games is absolutely pathetic. Honestly, think about it for a second. Games have absolutely no meaning anymore. They're fully AI generated. Uh, nothing is real anymore. And I don't know. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. You know, this might be a bit of an exaggeration and everything. But honestly, when you look at the last few games that came out, in the spe specifically in the last few months, there's been a lot of controversies that pretty much a lot of the assets and everything are... AI generated, and I honestly can't tell if that is true or not, but we pretty much, you know, either way, regardless, the, you know, the quality of video games nowadays, both in content and even aesthetics, has gone downhill completely. I feel like a lot of uh, games either go too far in the game modes they offer, or not far enough, or there's too much, and I feel like a lot of this kind of happened in 2015, 2016, or whenever Fortnite came out, I actually forget, around that time. Um, I feel like ever since then, there's been a switch in video games, and really, the time of going to a store and paying $60 for a game that you've been waiting for for a while, and really playing that game and remembering it and enjoying it you know i'm talking about halo 3 uh gta 5 even when it came out in 2013 uh, great titles like that if th those days are far gone uh, video games have become completely first of all there's there's way too many of them you've got a, you know xbox game plus playstation plus ubisoft plus got all these pluses or whatever there's way too many choices and i feel like the more choice there is the less quality there is so you end up having a huge backlog that you never finish and you don't even really enjoy that much and you know once in a while once maybe twice a year if you're lucky you get a really really good game that you enjoy Baldur's gate 3 diablo 4 some of you might not agree with me of diablo but i think it's a good game uh either or the time of uh, of really enjoying a video game and having a lasting impact on you is completely gone in my opinion all of this is obviously indicative of a uh, decline in over quality not just in our culture but in pretty much anything that we consume on a daily basis and you know it applies to everything look at media nowadays look at books even right Video games, of course, is the most immediate, biggest growing uh, industry right now, so that's what is currently affected the most. But when you really think about it, and you honestly sit down and play a game, and you're, you know, you're past the age of 30, not, you know, a young kid or anything, you're telling me you're enjoying these games the same way you did? Like when you were, you know, 20? And I'm, partly, maybe this is some sort of nostalgic factor. I'm not denying that at all. But at the end of the day, you know, when you really look at very basics of video games, like story, uh, story stuff, and you know, writing, and, and uh, I think it's really declined significantly, especially since 2020. Um, fewer and fewer games have well written stories and narratives that actually are you know mean something to you they all seem that you will most of them come with three four hour campaigns nowadays and really the stories seem to be i'm not i don't know how to say it like chat gpt generated you know just cookie cutter scripts that have very little meaning or you know you've seen before over and over again so there's nothing new and now, don't get me wrong, I understand the irony that I'm talking about this and playing Left 4 Dead uh, at the same time, you know, a game that isn't exactly known for its story, but overall, even a game like this with very basic story, you know, down day you pick up down the road, it has more of a narrative going on than games nowadays. Like, you pick up these survival-type games like Pal World or Ark, or there's so many of them now, I can't even... Uh, put them on a list they all pretty much are the same thing build survive uh, level up get new gear blah 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 and so on and so on they lack any real narrative at all so pretty much the same thing and i understand the meaning i think it's people want to dissociate entirely and everything but i don't know there may, must be an art form to this kind of media too right like some of the best games you've ever played think about it have the best stories you know, the most important games of our generation or past generations are ones with, you know, 
gripping story. So I don't know. You let me know. What do you think?